At a time when the world spun stories about God swallowing the sun, one man dared to say, it's just a shadow. His name was Aryabhata. Born in India around 476 CE, in an age of silk, stone temples, and oral traditions. Aryabhata wasn't raised in privilege. He wasn't backed by an empire. He didn't have observatories or telescopes. What he had was a mind that burned with curiosity. At just 23, he composed the Aryabhatiya, a masterpiece of astronomy and mathematics that left the ancient world in awe. In its verses, he mapped the stars, measured time, and unlocked the secrets of the cosmos. He calculated pi to 3.1416. With astonishing accuracy, he introduced trigonometry, sine functions, and the place value system. And long before Europe would dare to say it, Aryabhata declared that the Earth spins on its axis and that it was not the sun moving across the sky, but us. While others feared eclipses, he explained them with geometry, not mythology. No demons, no curses, just light, shadow, and celestial alignment. He hinted at the concept of zero, a number that would go on to redefine the very structure of mathematics and technology. And yet, Aryabhata didn't write for fame, he wrote for truth. His equations didn't just measure the universe, they elevated it. He wasn't a conqueror, he didn't command armies, but in the silence of ancient India, he mapped the heavens. Today, we measure the stars with machines, but Aryabhata did it with a mind centuries ahead of its time. This is Chronicles of Spirit. Follow for more stories of cosmic vision, mathematical courage, and minds that move the universe.